Imagine a world where even touch is too painful to bear, where the wind brushing across your skin feels like the worst thing imaginable. Well, that's what life is like for thousands suffering from a mysterious condition. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel has their story. It was like my nervous system was on fire. It's a mystery pain so unbearable. I really didn't think I could go on. It turned 43-year-old Michaela Bensko from an active working mom into this, unable to go up the stairs or even take a walk with her daughter. There is no way to even describe. It's the kind of pain that you, you can't see yourself having for 40 more years. It got so bad she was bedridden for 10 months, couldn't move her neck and spine, lost use of her legs, and no one could figure out why. My children had to hold my head up. They cold and they burning a little bit, like someone stabbing you, like stabbing like knives. It happened to Sharon Glasper too. She can barely use her hands. But for me so to touch your hand, you don't know it hurts. Yes, it burns and it starts aching and then I have a long ride home. Okay, could I see your foot? And 74-year-old Elaine Holiday from Mar Vista, who one day woke up with pain swelling and intense heat in her right foot. So bad that for eight years now, even a sheet touching it is unbearable. There was nothing that I could do. I lived with ice packs. That's the only way that I could get it to subside. They all suffer from a chronic illness called Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, or CRPS. It can strike anyone, anywhere, at any time. We really don't know why one person gets it and another person doesn't. Dr. Joshua Prager is a pain management specialist at UCLA. He says a quarter of his patients get CRPS spontaneously, like Elaine, for no reason at all. The rest can start from a trauma, even the simplest of things. It could be being bumped by a supermarket cart, uh, spraining your ankle, um, having a fracture. CRPS has no clear cause, making it difficult to diagnose. What is known is that it's a disorder of the nervous system, causing nerves to send constant pain signals to the brain. Although it can affect anyone, the doctor says most of the patients he sees with CRPS are women between the ages of 20 and 40. He says many go from doctor to doctor, misdiagnosed, and some being told it's all in their head. Medical schools don't teach about it, so physicians don't know to look for it. I would have thought I was a hypochondriac if I'd looked at the list of all the exams and all the testing that I'd had done. Although there's no cure, doctors can help patients manage the condition with physical therapy, medication, even implanting devices like this to dull the pain. It's an integrative approach to healing, not a cure, a new way of living. Do I feel lucky that I just have it below my ankle? I guess so. Just look at Sharon. The pain isn't gone, but it's better. Enough to reach out and do this. I'm going to give you one. You're I can eat one. You can have. Uh, thank you so much for everything. And You're let welcome. me spread the word because people really don't understand. They really don't understand. And Michaela, who after intensive treatment. You all said I could do it. I didn't even believe that I could do it. And I did it. A surgical implant, medication, and physical therapy <laughs> was able to find a way to walk again. It's being able to wrap your brain around a diagnosis, understanding life is different. Okay, let's have a good cry. And then you got to pick yourself up and keep moving forward. While Michaela still struggles to walk and uses her scooter and lift to help her move around, she considers every day a blessing, even blogs about her life. Specific criteria is used to diagnose CRPS. For more information, just go to our website, cbsla.com.